If elected, what would you do to help continue to promote job growth and grow Florida's economy? Uh, well, District 80, and I would answer it specifically, is a rural agricultural district. And so uh, we have 120 seats because each one of us should know the most we can about our district and how to grow our district. For District 80 specifically, we need infrastructure, we need to develop our ports, and we need to develop our education. And so the major thing I'd say right now, if I could get done in the next eight years, which I don't see being a Herculean effort, is to get an interstate beltway placed in District 80 that would connect I-75 north and south to Alligator Alley. And I'd use that through SR-82 and SR-29 on a projected plan right now. This can allow for the diversion of traffic from the areas that we don't need it and allow for the diversion of the traffic into the areas we do. It's a very minimal imprint on our uh, environment, so conservationists are, are, would like the plan. And ultimately, it allows for the growth and development of the rural agricultural district at a pace and development type that, that they would want to see done. How would you improve Florida's health care situation? Health care is a difficult thing with our aging population. Overall, I believe that competition is, is a better uh, avenue to, to pursue than over-regulation uh, from the government. Um, that being said, we are always going to struggle with the, the problems of individuals that don't have the ability to afford their own health care um, and health care for themselves. And so, you know, one of the things that I was so surprised about is I had a doctor friend of mine tell me that he actually sees Medicaid patients and then never bills Medicaid. And it's because of him that doctors like him that, that they have the heart and the willingness to make sure that people are cared for. Uh, a system like that isn't sustainable. And so we need to figure out ways, hopefully ways through uh, free market economics and competition that allows for a greater interchange between doctors and patients and healthcare professionals and patients. And so that the model is, the cost model is not driven by large insurance companies or reinsurance, but by the doctors and the access to care themselves. What challenges do you see in Florida's K through 12 education system? And if elected, what would you do to address those challenges? You know, one of the things I say in public education is, is the difficulty is just that. It's public education. It's a task to educate every student, regardless of their level. And I believe in public education. You know, and one of the, the things I say that I didn't know is that it was Ben Franklin's idea that we would have public libraries. Because at the time, everybody had their own private libraries. The truth is, education and knowledge must be shared. It must be public if we are to grow as a state and grow as a society. The question becomes, what are we focused on? Are we focused on the content of the education being delivered to the students? Or are we focused on test scores, on how we stand on a national test that may have no merit? I think what we need to do is, is look at the model in a bit more critical sense and make sure that our students, wherever they are, we're pushing them on their track, whether they're at the top of the class or the bottom. We need to lift the students up. I think creating competition is an appropriate thing to do so in the educational system, and we do. We have private schools. We have charter schools that open up to fill voids or gaps in education. So I think the biggest issue right now is making sure that on a state level we don't get in the way to our own demise and that we focus on the important things in education, and that is the content and quality that these ch children are learning at so that we propel them at every level they exist at. Uh, name is Joe Davidow running for State House District 80. That's uh, Collier County, Northeastern Collier County, and all of Henry County. Uh, you can find out more about me on the website, which is uh, Joe, uh, J-O-E-4-F-O-R, Florida.com, uh, Joe for Florida.com.